Hello everyone, it's Wilson here. Let's continue to talk about trick integrals. Whenever we are integrating uh, a product of trick powers, um, what happened is that for the um, for the case when there was the tangent and there was a secant, um, the way that we do it is that we will look for a odd power, we'll look for an odd power of tangent, or we'll look for an even power of secant. Okay, so in this case, you can see that the tangent power is odd and then the secant power is also even. So um, we can actually do it in two different ways for this problem, but I'm just going to do it one way here. And last time when I show um, another integral, I actually use, I actually look for the even power for the secant. And so this time I'm just going to use the other one. I'm going to use the tangent cube to um, to do the manipulation. So instead of reserving a secant square to, uh, for the u substitution, this time I'm going to reserve it differently. So now if you're interested in doing it the other way, please check out my other videos. It's the link, it's in the description below. So you can click on the link and then you can watch that video. Okay, so let's get started for this one. So for this one here, what I want to do is that I'm going to uh, reserve a factor of tangent and a factor of secant. So let's do that. So we are going to start by writing the function. Okay. And because I'm reserving a tangent uh, and, another, uh, and another function, the secant, right? So we reserve one copy of tangent, one copy of secant. So we are left with just two copies right here. So let's just put that. So we have tangent square 5x, okay? And then we also need to reserve one factor of secant, right? So we are going to be left with just secant of 5x. And then we just write it out here. So that will be tangent of 5x. And then uh, let me see. So we have secant of 5x. And then we also highlight the dx right here. And so now um, we can do a quick uh, quick check. Tangent squared times tangent, that's tangent cubed. Secant times secant, we'll get secant squared. So that's just the original integral, okay? I'm just writing it in a different way. Okay, so now what are we doing? Um, <clears throat> because now once we reserve one copy of the tangent, then the tangent becomes an even power because initially it has an odd power. So now I, I we, I put one away and then I'm left with a even power. So in this case, we can actually rewrite this tangent in terms of secant by using the Pythagorean identity. Okay, so let's do that. So if we do that, then we are going to be getting what, let's see, so we have the integral. Okay, so we are going to rewrite that tangent square as what? As secant square 5x. Okay, and then minus one. Okay, and then we uh, we are we still have that secant here, right? So we still have that secant of five x, and then the other stuff, right? The other stuff. And then the secant of five x, and then dx. Okay, so now we have all that. Okay, and then you may say, what do we do next? We are going to make a u substitution. We are going to let u be secant of 5x. And then you may say, why do we do that? It's really because the du is going to give you um, a tangent and then a secant, right? So let's do that. So we are going to let u, right? We are going to, let's do it on here. So we are going to let u be secant of 5x. And then, so what is the du? What is the du? So the du is going to be, now the derivative of secant 5x is actually 5 secant 5x, and then tangent of 5x dx. Okay, so now, um, <clears throat> Why do we get the 5 i right here? It's really because when we differentiate the outer function, the secant, we are going to get secant and tangent, right? And then when we differentiate the inner function, the 5x, we are going to take, uh, when we differentiate the 5x, we are going to get the 5. So that's due to the chain rule. And then as you can see here, uh, we have secant 5x, tangent 5x, that's exactly what, that's the same expression that you have here, including the dx, right? 
The only thing that's different is really just that we don't have a five right here, but we do have a five right here. So what we can do is to move the five to the other side of the equation, and then we are going to be getting one over five du, and that's equal to the secant of five x, and then tangent of five x, and then dx. And see that those two are exactly the same right now. Okay, so now what do you do? So what we are going to do is that we are going to start making the substitution. Um, this second square of 5x is replaced by the u. So we are going to put a u here. And then, of course, there was the square in there, right? So there was a square in there because that, that's secant square and u is only equal to secant. So we get a uh, u square right here. And then minus 1. Okay, minus 1. And then what do we get right here? This thing is also replaced by the u, right? So we put the u right here. Okay, and then now what is next? This whole thing is being replaced by the 150u because that's what we have right here from the u substitution. So we are going to be multiplying. We are going to be multiplying by, uh, what is that? That's one over five du. Okay, so that's nice. And then now um, we can move the constant outside and then we can start distributing this u to both terms inside the parentheses because we are going to do integration next. So we, ha we have the one over five and then we are going to distribute this u to the u square, right? So it's really just distributing the u to the u square and then the u to the minus one. So we are getting, um, what is that that we are getting? We are getting uh, u cubed minus u. And then there was a du, right? So there was the du. Okay. Do we know how to integrate this one? We can integrate this really easily, right? This is really just reversing the power rule. So that's simple. So now we are going to be getting 1 over 5. Then integrate the u cubed, right? So we are going to get u to the fourth times 1 over 4 minus u to the second and times one over two. Okay, and then just distribute the one fifth. I know that there is a constant integration right here. I'm just going to just wait until later or we can actually just put it right there, right? So actually it's going to be inside, right? So we are just going to call the C1 in there, right? Okay, so now if we distribute the one over five, we are going to be getting um, one over 20, right? Then u to the fourth, and then minus one over 10, u to the second, and then plus one over five, C1, okay? And almost done. The last step is really just to replace all the u's by the original, function u that's equal to secant of 5x, right? So we replace all the u's by the secant of 5x, which will give us 1 over 20. And then there is the secant of 5x. And then that's the to the fourth power. Okay, and then minus 1 over 10. And then secant square of 5x. I'm missing the square, so let me just put it there. Okay, and then plus. Now we can actually uh, replace this by just the c, right? The constant <clears throat> the constant that uh, that's equal to 1 over 5 times c1, right? So this thing actually right here, it's 1 over 5 c1. Um, this problem can actually be done in an easier way, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Um, if you let u be tangent, then du is going to be secant square 5x. Well, not exactly, because there was still a 5 in there, which will produce that 1 fifth. And from there, you can do a use up immediately instead of using the identity. But I just want to show how to integrate this function in another way. So if you're interested in doing it that way, please watch the other video also. Um, I think that one has a square right here and also a square right here. So you cannot really do it this way when the tangent power is even. Okay, so that's it for this problem. 
If you like this video, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel, share my videos to others. It will give me support to make more videos. If you have questions or have a topic that you want me to talk about, please leave me a comment. I really appreciate that. Thank you for watching.